Welcome to the video on using grid controls in scan. The grid controls in scan can help you work more efficiently and help you locate specific jobs more easily. Grid controls are available on the windows that list scan jobs. This video demonstrates how to group a list, reorder columns in a grid, change the column width, search the job list, and filter a list. If the folder history section displays on the window, you first must use the filters there to specify the jobs you want to work with. To group the list, drag the header for the column that you want to group by into the area above the header row. You can expand or collapse a group by clicking the arrow next to the group. To remove the grouping, drag and drop the grouping field back to the header row. To change the order of columns, drag a header to a new position in the header row. Arrows display above and below the header row when you reach a location where you can insert the column. Click and drag a column border to change the width of a column. When used in combination with search, grid filters can be a powerful way to find specific jobs. For example, if I search for Smith, I receive several results. I can narrow the results. By entering the name of a specific smith in the filter box at the top of the column. Clicking the filter icon in the filter row allows you to select different filter operators. Click Clear Filter on the filter list to remove all the filters. Hover the pointer over a header row to display the filter icon. Click this icon to display a list of column values. To filter by a value, Select the checkbox for that value. Click OK. Use the Clear Filter option to remove this type of filter as well. When you're done, click the X in the search box to clear search results as well. Thank you for watching the video on using scan grid controls.